certificate today. Okay, good, but then you right. go on to do those two, okay, and then okay, after okay, that, uh, we have the HP mentorship uh, no. program, men yeah. uh, mentorship program, where now you are mentored to become a mentor. You see? You know, these things we have to share. There's nothing like self selfishness here. We have got to share. So, when I, right now, I have completed the, um, the mentorship program and my graduation is coming at the end of this month and I'm, I'm happy for that. And, and therefore, after that, definitely, I will volunteer to become a mentor. And, and that's the key, that's the key. We need many, as many mentors as, as possible. So your journey doesn't end here. In fact, it begins from today. All right, and therefore my humble appeal to uh, Dr. Madrin, if, if you can also help us now to, to get today's graduate, graduates into this mentorship program, so that they too can also, um, in their spaces, mentor other people wherever they will be uh, posted to. Allow me to quickly, because I think my, my time is, is up. So, you've talked about uh, the, two, the, the the mentorship program, and then you also have the one million global community on social media. Yeah, when you got your your, your black belt, you are brought into the one million teachers black belt WhatsApp group, eh? and so you'll be now introduced to a global uh, forum where you will join people from all over the globe. And I like that space because every week, every week, one of us, a black belt a holder, shares certain. Um, news, innovations, you know, sessions, just to keep the conversation going on a weekly basis, all right? And, and that is also something we are thinking about in our Kenyan context, so that we can also uh, do that. And then, um, of course, back to my point of own initiative, I'll give you my own example. I have, um, um, uh, we, we have a, a, a community-based organization running in my village. It is called a Greener Spaces Initiative. And what we do is we do both environment and education. We plant trees, but we also go to schools and we speak. So we've been able to put together um, some teachers in a WhatsApp group, and there we are doing what we can from the one million teachers uh, um, platform and just impacting them and advising them to also impact others. Yeah, so that what my, my dream is to see that um, the schools within my area are anchored <coughs> within pedagogy of the 21st. That's what I'm doing in my space, yeah, using uh, a CPO in my locality. And, and that's, that is the challenge I want to give to each one of you. When you go out there, what will you do with the One Million Teachers program? And let me tell you something. Many people usually tend to get to that highly, you know, excited level and then somehow, you know, they, they dwindle, you know, they, they recede and then you have a few people who are championing the cause. So my prayer is that that will not be the case. Allow me to just read you a certain quote. Um, I think uh, this is what I will end with. We have two quotations here. Uh, Henry Adams said, a teacher affects eternity. He can never tell where his influence stops. Please don't take that lightly. You have a great influence. And the things you will tell your students will affect them for the rest of their lives. And you can imagine, I'm so happy that they will be told things that you, know, you people have learned from the one million teachers program. All right? And then the other one is everyone who remembers his own education remembers teachers, not methods and techniques. The teacher is the heart of the educational system. That is Sydney Hook. You are the heart of Kenya's educational system. What kind of teacher will you be? I'm confident having gone through the One Million Teachers program. And the beauty is you can always go back to the platform again and again and again. It's not gonna shut. You will find the content, you can go back and review and review and see what you can use again and again and again. And, and really my prayer is that everyone sitting here 
um, will be this kind of a teacher that, that, that we can describe as the heart of the education system in Kenya. Yes. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you very much, Dr. Ann, for that wonderful story, wonderful impact experience. <sighs> Have you heard the number of places she's been? Yes. Did you hear? The number of schools she has taught. Dr. Ang, I have only one question to like. I went to Rwanda and uh, I was going for an interview at Green Hills. Were you the one who took my position? <laughs> because I'm still here. <laughs> 2010. Oh. Oh. Now, um. I'm really excited, really excited. In my community, there is a segment, whenever there are gatherings, um, there is a special announcement that is made. It's not about food. It is a question of the people who are in Nairobi. Number two, they use the local term. Does anybody understand that language? Apo chenu. Mole ndeto tuumana. All right, um, um, I'm informed. For those who want to go out for a stretch, you take this exit, you go down, go this way, you go that way, until you find where it is written, ladies and gents. Gents, you go to gents. Ladies, you go to gents, so that we don't collide. <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I have learned something. A teacher, inspires eternity. The change of a society begins with a teacher. If you want your neighborhood to be safe, that is, wherever you are planning to buy that plot and build, and you don't want anybody to steal from you, make sure the children you are handling in school pass. At least you are going to have intelligent thieves. All right? They steal from you, and then they say, we cannot kill you. Let's spare your life so that you make more, and we come again tomorrow. tomorrow. But if you have failures in that community, under your care, uh, as a teacher, you produce failures. Huh? Those will be uh, foolish things. They will come steal from you and kill you. Which one do you prefer? So as you get out of this uh, institution, Ensure you create good people. Many of you are teachers because um, there is that teacher who inspired you and you want to be like them. And I remember some of us used to work with an academic angle of inclination just like our teacher. <laughs> because of the weight of the books on one side. Um, we're going to take a short break. For those who want to stretch, you can stretch. Five minutes, and then uh, we come back. Can you clap for me? I've been speaking and speaking and speaking, and nobody has clapped for me. And I may leave this place before I get any clap. So I think the next session, I'll make sure before we start everything, before I start speaking, you clap for me. Until it is enough, I tell you now, stop. And I tell you, you have clapped for me, now you can clap for the rest. Now, can you clap for yourselves? I have seen somebody who is not clapping for herself. Instead, she is hitting her brain. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, let's take a short break and then come back after five minutes. As uh, we prepare, we have great people who want to talk to us. And we always say, ladies first. So marry a catch wherever you are. Come and catch our souls. So the, the washrooms are the gents and ladies that you use. Uh, I know some of you don't know where they are. I know. <laughs> now, that is my short story. I don't have many stories.
is to say. Mary, a catch where? Ladies first, isn't it? You, I'm told you have um, 10 minutes, but I give you five. Better still, two <laughs> or 10. Thank you so much for the club. I don't take them for granted. First and foremost, I want you to turn to your neighbor and um, say to him or her that you did the right thing. Repeat that again. Do you know the right thing that you did? Which one? Yeah, one million teachers, eh? Yeah, you did the right thing. You made the right, the best decision so far, especially now that you are a comrade. Actually, I'm proud of you. I never had the opportunity to do whatever you've done today. So I'm standing in front of people who I can say I'm very proud of. And uh, if I was the president um, or okay, the employer for all the teachers, I would be like, choose them first because those students are serious. You know? Yes. Thank you. Um, and because we are in a land that uh, there is a style they greet people, so I'll say, Ohoruanyu. Nemwega. It's okay, let me stop there. Uh, my name is Mary Akach, as you have heard. Um, I'm not an educator by profession. But I can say I am an education enthusiast, and that's why I'm here. Maybe you may ask, why are you interested in one million teachers, yet you're not a, a teacher? Because I believe there is no community development without quality education and gender equality or equity. And that's what motivated me to take the courses that is called One Million Teachers. And um, not to brag, but just to tell you that since I took, I, I qualified as a black belt, or since I registered for the One Million Teachers courses, I've been able to attain more than 25 certificates from the same dashboard that you see every day. So it is not about the 12 courses uh, that qualify you to be a black belt, but it is about continuous learning. And for that, allow me to quote something from our CEO, Mr. Hakim. I think you've been uh, in a position to meet him. Uh, when I joined One Million Teachers, he said, mm, you know that you don't know. Like, uh, the more you know is the more you realize that you don't know. And it takes courage and humility to actually discover that you don't know and continue learning. I've not used the, right, the, the exact words, but it is what it is. Okay, I know many have been asking um, what one million teachers will help them with, and that's what I'm here to talk a little bit about my experience. Uh, I am a community development specialist by profession, tax consultant by training, compute, uh, cloud computing specialist or practitioner by training, and um, a home manufacturer. <laughs> that sounds funny. Yeah, that is uh, who Maria Katz is. And um, I want to tell you a short story of how one million teachers, or the one million teachers courses impacted me as a person, live alone as a profession. Uh, there was some time back in 2022, I applied for a job in one of the government parastatals, and um, I got shortlisted, and it was time for interview. Now, because you know how the government positions, they involve so many candidates that this is not even the number. So I was so confident about getting that job. I've always been a good performer, not to 
boast about it so i knew obvious ah ni swali gani hapo itaulizwa yenye sitaweza kujibu you see ile eh ile kujigamba kujipea kujipea what motivation so as we were waiting for the uh, in in such a hall i could see people perusing their certificates eh? and at that time i am a street person eh? so uh, i knew after scoring those good marks and good grade of course what on so i i had my kcp certificate well laminated and kept i had my kcse and now my degree yeah you can tell how um, confident i was about the job eh? you can tell i knew hakuna kitu kingine ya kuongeza si ndio so as people were perusing the sets i saw something i noticed something that took my the confidence and the excitement away guess what it is can you guess not not about 1 million teachers at that time i didn't even know what 1 million teachers is so people had huge number of certificates eh? and for you to get a certificate that means that you got the knowledge you got the skills from that certificate it is not just about the certificate sindio so i knew hapa kuna vita some had more than 10 some had more than 20 and it was like with these three certificates to linger the same room for interview okay so <coughs> i tend to be a good communicator but that day what is nipotea sincerely speaking <laughs> cuz i felt like um, i'm not worth the job kulingana na ile pressure yenye nilipewa na sorry for the ones who are not getting so ill eh? yeah so the pressure took away the confidence and the pressure took away, took away the excitement i just went there to, because it is my turn after all i can't go back home and nisha to be affair so i sat there I they asked several questions but I remember myself rotating about one thing I'm a very good communicator I I, I possess effective effective communication skills they gave me a side eye and the eye when I tried to interpret that look it was like okay so that is what effective communication looks like Yes, I didn't get the job and uh, <laughs> I don't I don't regret because uh, I missed okay, I missed. Uh, I didn't know what to do. So quickly after that I decided to embark on serious learning. So I'm proud that you have made it at the right time. So by the time you'll be graduating, remember you'll be having like more than 12 certificates plus the ones that you've been having. It is not about the certificates, it is about the skills, the knowledge that you get from the courses. Kama ulifanya hii course ndi ugraduate. Rudi kwa your dashboard. Answer from girl rising. Get to know what girl rising is talking about. That is literally building a responsive gender society. You are a teacher and you will interact with so many children both boys and girls and without if you don't understand how well you're supposed to interact with them you will end up with boys either boys shining instead of um, impacting these students uh, positively you will be perpetuating the gender stereotypes like girls are not work or there are some certain roles that girls can't do or there are certain some certain roles that boys can't do and that is what we are trying to eliminate and that is one purpose for one million teachers and then for you to be able to communicate better than i am or better than anybody here green belt had it isn't it yeah so from the green belt uh, you should be different disappointed kiasi. I understood the feeling that you had, lakini kidogo nilikuwa disappointed. Reason being, you undertook the green belt. 
And the green belt was about emotional intelligence and communication skills. Sasa hapo kidogo mliniangusha but no worries. I understand your your worries as well. Comrades, see you. Yes, so that's why we are here. We wanted to ensure that the comrades are taken care of. See you. Yeah. So that is uh, briefly what I have about one million teachers. Again, in Kenya, you've had these uh, the chaos about performance. Eh? Uh, the parents coming to attack teachers in schools and dragging them out of the schools. Eh? Can someone tell me which belt will help you handle that case? If you are the head teacher and you have undertaken the one million teachers, can someone tell me which belt? Which belt? Which belt? Come on, just if you know the answer, you can just stand up and say it. Which one? Blue belt. Blue belt. Um, that is okay because blue belt talks up, talks much about. Uh, no. Um, my mind is kidogo in a kata ku register here. Yeah? Assume a traumatized child comes to school or an autistic a, a child who is in the autistic spectrum um, comes to school and you're supposed to motivate this child to to get impacted just like the rest of the students. Which belt? White belt. Yeah? It is uh, orange belt. Orange belt helps us again to understand the kind of learners you have in a class and how different in, in how the, the different ways in which you can motivate those students. So you, you can see I can make to be a teacher. I was once a teacher, but that was before I joined college. So I can't be a good teacher by the way. Yeah. So to wrap up everything, one million teachers is not about just such an event. It is about an impact, impacting our societies positively. What are you going to do in your space? How, okay, what are, how are you going to change the stereotypes that have lived, that have been perpetuated from time to time? How are you going to ensure that the society we are living in receives quality education and they understand where why they are taking the education program. So, so without that, allow me to say the Gyomuno Gainoega. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. What a wonderful story. She's not a teacher, but she is a she is passionate about education, isn't it? Can you clap for her? Well? <laughs> now, before I call upon the next speaker, mm -hmm. I want to say this in small letters eh? so that even the mic, the, I mean, uh, the camera does not catch this. <laughs> Some two guys, huh? Uh, number two, um, I don't know the check in your groups. We are live on YouTube. Are you aware? Yes. Who has checked? Have you shared? Yes. Yeah? Now, we are going to go up. Those who, did, who started and they did not what? They did not start. They started but they did not start. I'm going to give you a, a short story. Christopher, please come. I'm waiting for you. Are you in there? You put our house in order. Um, there were three cats on the table. My neighbor put some milk on the floor. 
two of them decided to jump and take the meal. How many remained on the table? If you get that answer correct, uh, Mr. Hakim might decide to migrate to Kenya just because of it. Three cats were on the table, milk was put on the floor. Two decided to jump and take the milk. How many remained on the table? Critical thinking. Mr. Kim is waiting for the answer. You never know what he has in store for you. You know the answer? Uh -huh. I love Anybody? How many of you? Now, these cats decided, all of the three remained on the table. Because they decided, but they never took action. Just like most of you. You've been saying, I know the answer. And you're not raising your hand. Thank you. Christopher, please. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, I'm Christopher Kim. Okay, for me, I'm from Kanye International University. I'm um, Christopher Gedeji Jeroga. I'm a mathematics teacher teaching mathematics and computer science. And I'm a finalist. So, receive pretty first of all, first, receive pretty from Pioneer International University. But we have to make a pressure. I remember, I remember the first time when you graduated from Mango, you have finished the black belt, I guess. Pioneer, you are about only five. Five. But what we have when you some of my colleagues who are like, hey, you could map it. Hey, you could make it to be serious. Hey, what are you doing? So I thank you everyone for collaborating and everything. So I start my journey as a one million teachers. I can say one million teachers for me was a life saver. Because I was, I, it was last year, I had gone for my teaching practice at an international school. So when I was there for international school, in that school, the first thing I was was, that's how I told you, to not be able to put on a video on a fuzan, that's how you're supposed to handle them. Avoid to a chapa, avoid to, you know, you are avoid to a kelelesha, avoid to eat on chinga, you know, those kind of things. So I was wondering, like, how do I deal with these students? How do I manage these students? Because you are supposed to deal them in a very special way. So that is when now I was introduced to one black, one million teachers, a colleague of mine told me, ah, Kuneli Kosa, we just here. So he told me about one million teachers, and I started it. And guess what? It was really a lifesaver, because I was doing this, you see, we were learning about classroom management, we were learning some things to how to deal with student behavior, you see, and I could even some of the activities I could go and employ, I, I can say, employ them in the classroom, like something you did and then you're like, oh, I'll go and do this, and it really helped me a lot. And guess what, when I finished my teaching practice, I used all the skills in one million teachers, and when I finished my teaching practice, the teacher told me, you'll come back, go and finish school, and normally they are for Ruby. And imagine going back to international school. It's not a simple thing. And international school, they are paid well. So I'm really grateful for one million teachers. 
It was like, it is not how our teachers used to teach. And every, we can say that it was very interactive and very exciting for me. Because how our teacher used to teach us is not how we are going to teach our students. And me, for example, being one of my na samanga na mwango na hiki tuya, one of my you know, I'm like, ah, that is a very negative link to the teacher of mass. But through one million teachers, I, I know it will reach a point in 10 years to come. People will be saying, thanks, Mwalimu Mas. I hope that will be the phrase. Asanti Mwalimu Mas. I guess that will be the phrase those days. So I, I can say about the one thing, another thing about one million teachers is that, like you see, it, it really keeps you with the knowledge about international schools. We got international schools. And as your son, I was very happy about Dr. Anne. You see, Alimu Hatuambia, the places she has been. And you see, she is a normal teacher. I'm talking about Rwanda, I'm in Dubai, I'm in Malaysia, and she's a normal teacher, and that's where I want to be myself. Mr. Kukapa, and you know, that is not my goal. My goal is to aim like our doctor, you go to places. And this one, when you teach us, you already have the skills. There's nothing else you, you are lucky, you already have the skills and the knowledge to go out there in international schools. <coughs> and one thing I also I can say about me being an ambassador of one million teachers, I can say I'm an ambassador of one million teachers and also a black belt, because last year they really sponsored me to go for a course called Visualizing the Purpose of Future Education. And it was, it was partnered by they had partnered with Global Peace Foundation, and that course there, I can say, it really taught me a lot. You see, it really taught me a lot about education and why they are teaching the education. This education we have, how we are going to implement to our, our, to our students in the near future, I know things will change. And this Global Peace Foundation have partnered with one million teachers to do very great things. I can say also one thing about, for me, like, uh, I remember last year, as I, was, as I met Mr. Hakim last year, during the meeting, when he came for, to that international school, and I asked him, Sir, can I implement, can I form a group in our school, in my university, where students can do this course? And he told me, it's okay, why not? And I really went to the school, so I remember I went to school last semester, I, I talked to the student, and at first I can say yes, the students did it listen to, you know they were like talking, but we are about the you know, teachers and everything. So I gave myself time because that semester Elisha Popochuan Elisha, no one had finished, not but I can say for right now we are about 70 students plus who will be graduating on the 16th March. 2023, and I can say that's very much to you. That's why I told Madame Marie, I had to come to see what is, what is special in Yemen. <laughs> what is this special? <laughs> I wanted to come and see what is this special in Yemen. Eh? Oh, to within two months, you know, within two months, and you're already 300. <laughs> and for us, it has taken about, about six months. Six months, and now you are more than us. So it was like, I really. I'm really, I'm really thankful for you a lot. And one thing I also can add about, as you have seen, the TSC amendment for 2024 and 2025, they have really changed our settings as, as, as teachers. And for you to become a teacher and as you continue teaching, they are required you, it is seen that a teacher must be required to request every registered teacher to undertake a continuous professional development program. And guess what? We are saying, see what million teachers is a continuous development program. Yes. And we also we can say we are saying that we get jobs and even you have seen people in the in the group, they are giving testimonies about one million teachers. On a summer they, they got some uh, some I guess from the I remember up on January, some of the teachers in One Million Teachers, Lepanasema, they got promoted because of One Million Teachers and because of the skills. 
And I can say that if you use these skills very well, it will take you to places. Because like me, I can say, when I used my skills very well, plus when I was teaching at Dutch International School, I didn't got a job for a tuition to teach some of some 80 children, they were three girls. And I was being paid for one hour, I was being paid for 2,000 Kenya shillings. So I remember, I remember I was doing about four to five hours per week. You can guess that money was at the end of the month, and I was a complete. And because of just using these skills, and you know those students who are, they, they were not performing well, but you know I was trying to, through this one with your teachers and how it helped you notice those students who are not performing well, and it helps you and it guides you very well for now to do with such a student. At our level, she please. To the other one, you should have done now. Okay, now man, I will see my party as well. Yeah, my Melissa will be one minute. You know how to deal with that student. We just give him some more work and other things. I can say that is my journey about one million teachers. And I can also to add on one of the things, a story I would like to tell you about the it was it happened a long time ago. It was about Albert Einstein. I hope everybody knows Albert Einstein, the the genius guy, and he was in an airplane going to travel. And in on his seat he was sitting with an Indian guy. So so, so Albert was good. So he decided to tell this Indian guy, okay, let, let's have a deal, we play a game. So this guy, so the, the Indian guy agrees, okay, what, what is the game? So Albert told him, the rule of the game is, I ask you a question. When you fail, you give me $5. And then you, is when it's your turn to ask me a question, when I fail, I give you $500. So this guy was like, ah, ah it's okay, I take the deal. And said, ah, here, that you work. Okay. Now, Albert sat and of course, he was the team as so one. He asked this Indian guy, now, tell me the distance from the sun to earth. Calculate the distance and tell me. So this Indian, this Indian guy was like, ah, I thought, I thought, and then he was like, ah, I don't know the answer. And he got five dollars and gave Albert. Now it was the turn of the Indian guy to ask Albert the question. So this Indian guy took some time to ask Albert the question. What question do I ask this man? So it, it just came with something, he came up with something and told that, it, that genius. It goes up the mountain with three legs. And when it reaches the top of the mountain, it comes back with four legs. So the genius, Albert and Moniz, he was now thinking. You stick anybody who goes up the mountains with three legs and come in four. He thought and thought, and then he removed the five hundred dollars and he gave the he gave the Indian guy. No, it was now the turn of that uh, now Albert was that was king of Asia. And now the, that Albert told him, by the way, before I ask you a question, what was the answer to what was the answer to your question? And you know what the guy who can tell me what who can tell me what the guy did? Yes. I will give you a microphone. I guess you do in terms in my yard now. <laughs> Any other guess? Okay. Okay, the answer to this, I know all of you are waiting for the answer. So the just guy, he moved five dollars and gave Albert those five dollars. He just removed five dollars and gave him back. The five dollars out of five hundred, you remove five dollars and give back. And, and see, what can you learn from this story? That is learn opportunity. You have been given opportunity by one million teachers. This course is free, and you have been given opportunity, and you took it. Can you clap for yourselves? So, one thing like whenever you come through opportunities, always take the opportunity. Think in a very critical way to take up opportunities. I'm going to read something here as, uh, okay. As a committed educator, I recognize the paramount, impo paramount importance of continuous professional development and goals. I firmly believe learning is a lifelong journey, and as, and as an educator, and I demonstrate my unwavering commitment to bring the best educator I can be. By staying informed, reflecting, and open, ideas. 
I strive to create, I strive to create a dynamic and enriching learning environment for my students where they can where they can thrive academically and personally. Thank you very much. I think I need to get five dollars from you. What was the answer? In short, you don't know. <laughs> Thank you very much. Can you clap for him? Fadili for me. Yeah. Do you know him? Do you know him? Where does he come from? His name, Omete, means tree. A tree that is planted by the waters. How many of you have parents who are a teacher? Or you were raised by teacher parents? I'll tell you a story about it. Comrades, Pa. Comrades, Tidio. Mijana, Oe. Warembo, Mwa. Okay, our guest, the founder of uh, One Million Teachers, Mr. Hakim Zubay, the co-founder, uh, Ms. Pat, uh, the assistant uh, professor from uh, Queen's University, Madam Je Dr. Jen Chin, uh, our beloved lecturer, Dr. Madrin, uh, leading the University of Lembu, and we have uh, the One Million Teacher Coordinator Kenya, Madam Sajero, my fellow comrades and graduates of One Million Teachers, good afternoon. My name is Fadili Omete. I'm a final student at the University of Lemu taking the education science. I'm also a graduate at the One Million Teacher Program. So, actually, first of all, I want to take this opportunity for, to thank the organizers of this network by uh, Madam Sajero for welcoming us today. One million teacher family, and also giving me this opportunity to share an experience about the black belt. Okay, the moment uh, Madame Madrin uh, told us about uh, one million teachers, uh, most of us we were curious. We did not, we did not uh, know what it was about, but we took that opportunity because uh, we wanted to learn and know more about one million teachers. So, one million teachers uh, is an educational technology, a uh, social uh, experience that aims at equipping teachers with skills so that they can go to the grassroots level to equip learners with skills and knowledge. Actually, the mission is just to educate and then give students knowledge. So I've been told to talk about the black belt experience. And as, as I was partaking about that uh, belt, uh, we have two of these belts that uh, caught my attention actually. One of them is girl rising. As we know, we come from different communities where we are still developing other countries, and education is the equalizer. But what does girl rising talk about? It talk about gender. We realize that some communities, they inhibit, especially our culture, our culture from taking education. But due to this now one million teachers program, we are glad that since we are the ambassadors, we as teachers, we are able to transform, we are able to actually educate other people so that they can embrace this program. It also talks about equity and equality. As a teacher, when you are in classroom, we have other students who are uh, actually uh, blessed differently. Others, uh, they take things slow. So you as a teacher, you have to understand uh, actually how to handle those teachers. It's very fortunate we came actually last year from teaching practice, and we realized to learn how we can apply as we actually go to the, to the field. So once again, I'm really happy, and uh, we really thank uh, the, the founders of this program. We have another short event called the Rupert. It talks about personal development. Of course, we are going to graduate, and actually we are going to graduate again in December, in September. That one does not mean that uh, we have reached the apex, no. We have some development in the Rupert that you can learn. A very good one actually is technology integration. The teachers who graduated in the 1990s, uh, they did not use the same equipment they were, like the one we are using now. What does that mean? They have to integrate, they have to learn, and they have to do what? To develop. It also talk about self-esteem. We realize actually that is captured in the blueprint. Some learners actually they are dormant in class. You, you can realize that the learners are very good. They have the content. But you as a teacher, how can you help that student to come up and catch up with them? 
other students. As I continue, last week we had a, a, a career talk with the Kenya GSC chairman, Dr. Jamre Muturi, and he told us one thing very special. In the current world, it's very competitive. As a teacher, you have to be very smart. First of all, what does that mean? You have to have the soft skills and the hard skills. What do we mean by when you talk about soft skills? You have to be creative. We've learned that in the green belt, we've learned that in the blue belt, and we realize that it's aligning with the core values of, uh, of what we are going to know. Another thing is mental. It's very identified in the current belt. Mentoring is a two-way street. The way you mentor that student from that form one up to form four, we are also learning. Actually, I realized I learned many things in teaching practice. If I couldn't have gone to the field, eh, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have known. Education is not only what you read, it's what you have after going to school. So it's a good uh, initiative, and we are really glad. Another thing as I continue, those are the two catching uh, bells uh, we talked about. And my question I told as I post to you today, to my fellow comrades, are the objectives met? Once again, are your objectives met after taking up the one million teaching programs? Yes. Another thing, another question I want to pose to you. Do you think that the founders and those who bring this program should come up with more like such programs? Yes. So as you have heard, we really appreciate and we request more of such products, not for only us, but we have our dear students in a, just behind us, so that the more we educate, the more we get, good people to help us. Another thing, as we graduate, uh, Madam uh, Anne actually said that uh, we have joined the mentorship program, and I want you to assure you, my good friend uh, Christopher asked that he was surprised, how come Embu started graduating uh, very fast? One thing I can assure you, if you are updated, Embu we are a very good institution, and uh, my colleague there, Manjora, told me you have a great Wi-Fi, and that's one reason. <laughs> We have a very good mother, Dr. Madrin, who gave us me. <laughs> and those are so many factors. You realize that actually Embu for the last four consecutive years, we have been the number one state performing corporation. <laughs> so I can assure you we'll enroll in more programs uh, such as Good to Great, Seven Habits of Effective People, and I will also have a quote in Green Belt. That a mind is not an open space. What does that mean? It means that learning never stops. As actually as we are here, we are still learning. Yeah. So I can assure you we learn. And uh, I want uh, our, our lecturer, Dr. Madrin, told us yesterday in the group as you are preparing for the graduation. So the moment you graduate with this certificate, you qualify to teach in any part of the, of the world. So I just want to assure our founders that we are ready. And also, as Jesus told his disciples, he made it. <laughs> After learning what you have learned, go and tell the world what you have learned, what you have seen, and what you are going to do. So I want to give a challenge to our founders. We are ready. And I want to, on behalf of my comrades and I, I want to challenge them. As you can see, we are ready. We managed to produce 300 people within a short span of one and a half, uh, one and a half months, and we have more who are still willing to graduate in the second cohort, meaning that we are going to deliver and we deliver efficiently. Is it true or false? <laughs> so, so, as our stakeholders come from Canada, Nigeria, and other parts of the world, kindly, in Kenya we have programs where we see doctors are being taken in other parts of the world to teach. We have teachers here also. Take a few of them. Take them, to <laughs> take them to those parts of the world so that they can be also a, a good example to others and actually show that uh, it is working and it's possible. So I can vouch for my comrades that they deliver and they will do best. My appreciation goes first of all to Dr. Madrid Guillermo. She has a natural study very well. Actually, she has taught me psychology since the second year. And even we have such opportunities and program. That's the first thing she will tell you in class. We have this program, do this, do this, we can help you somewhere. So much gratitude to our mother, Dr. Madrin. Another thing goes to the university administration. As you can see, it's very supportive of such programs. We give our gratitude to the vice chancellor. And I want also to 
give my gratitude to, to Madam Sajero. Actually, we interacted with her a lot, and she has been a lot of under pressure. But the way she maneuvered that pressure is what uh, made me to like her most. Because uh, my comrades were very angry, but she never, <laughs> she, she never took something bad or uh, replied bad, but uh, she always kept quiet, but she, she always gave us positive motto, positive feedback. So congratulations, madam, and we hope. And another, some courses on the dashboard. We put on the dashboard, you only find you only have one white belt. The moment you text her, she will tell you, just give me a minute. If you go back there, the courses are there, and you continue to do that. We also thank our luminaries, uh, led by Madam Ang, where on the group, when we had some heated pressure, you could realize giving us hope, motivating us, telling us, oh, we just relax, okay? <laughs> so not there. The Another great goes to our founders, led by Mr. Hakim. You realize that uh, most of us are learning. Without them, actually, we couldn't have known that something like one million teachers exist. So, the mind and the wisdom that God gave you to, to think in that line, come more with such programs so that uh, we can help to empower our people. Another thing goes to finally, uh, the majority, my comments, I want to thank you. Because you took your time, you took your resources to enroll in such a program, and you did it very well. I'm sure all of you are very capable, and you are going to deliver very well. And also, we give thanks to the Almighty God. Without Him, we will not be here, and we will not be doing this. The late Nelson Mandela said, Education is the most powerful weapon used to change the world. Comrade, let's not change the world. Thank you. Is this guy campaigning for any post in the school? Is he? He sounds like a politician. Huh? He was. I have heard him mention some campaign promises. Which he can get. You are starting to be an MC. Never in the future. See you where does he come from? I know it. <laughs> I thought oh, oh no, Omete comes from my community and we all we who are to Nachapani. Like it could have water and chow. He said to my wife, I said, I think I'm going to be a bundle. Thank you very much. product of a teacher. To make it worse, I'm a son of two teachers, my mother and my father. And I had the opportunity of going to school where they were teaching. <laughs> Anybody who identifies with me? Yes. You don't. During my time, we were used as examples. <laughs> when others are being punished, you are the first one. So that the others don't feel because he is the son of a teacher, they don't want to beat him. You are beaten, if they are getting five kids, you get ten. <laughs> school fees. You are set up for school fees and your father is the head teacher. <laughs> you will ask him, why didn't you, I mean, why have you sent me home? You didn't come to ask me for school fees. <laughs> so you go home like that, and before you go home, you are Beaten first because you have not school fees, then you go and ask him. And, but that is how I survived. I am a teacher. Several years back, an idea was born in the heart of Africa. It was put on paper. And then someone looked at the paper and said, This is a very good idea. They developed a course. One million teachers. This one million teacher was a brainchild of one and only Mr. Nadal. Please, please, you stand and give it up for Mr. Hakim.
you getting to black belt is really not the end. The end is to use that as a staging uh, point to put you or to interest you to join communities of practice of fantastic educators like Fife, like Dr. Van, you know, and so many others uh, like that. Uh, how do you get into that community? Uh, within the One Million Teacher Program, I think I can safely say that, uh, um, and, and this is something that we really, really focus on achieving. Uh, every year, have you ever heard of the Global Teacher Prize? Anybody? No? Go and, go and Google it. Um, Peter Tabichi from Kenya won it in 2019. Go check. A million dollars. And I think uh, the top 10 they get, I don't know exactly how much, maybe $50,000 or $10,000. But that's not the point, right? The, the price. It is what you become along that journey. You know, and uh, when you are in this community of people who are doing a lot in their own community, they inspire you. Something happened today that it was a shock for me when I was in um, Incidentally, one of the schools um, in Lagos had something, but they created it only for the teachers in training, just like what Embo has. And I got a shock today, and we're going to sit down, go to the studio, and really do something professional with it. So thank you very much. Everywhere we go, we see innovation, we see ideas, you know, that we're able to take, to share with other people, and then they are inspired, and then they take it further, or they bring their own innovation into that space. So when you join that community of practice, you are exposed to all of these kind of <coughs> opportunities. There is so much more about one million teachers than becoming a black belt. Um, I, we, I don't want to repeat um, most of what Dr. Ann said. When she was talking, I looked at the notes that I, I was making. I started casting that stuff. That, okay, I'm not going to repeat all of this. You know, so, um, you find that is not worth repeating. She's done a fantastic job uh, highlighting uh, what is next. So please, um, I want to encourage you to seek out mentors within the group, and there are many of them from about 16 countries now. Many, you'll be amazed. If you think your father's farm is big, go to another person's farm, and then you know how big that person's farm is. You understand? So embrace that lifelong learning uh, uh, mindset and continue to develop yourself. Um, there is no greater <laughs> profession than teaching. Uh, at the end of the day, if you reach the pinnacle of any profession, you automatically become a teacher. Because you're a leader, you're going to have to teach people. You're going to have to inspire them. You know, you're going to have to mentor them. You're going to have to coach them. And you as teachers, you're already doing that. It comes with your territory. You understand? But how can we help you to become more? You understand? To be celebrated, not only hereafter, but in this life, you must seek your reward. You deserve it. You understand? Because you are doing the most amazing job uh, in any society. So I really congratulate you. Thank you for your energy. Um, I'm really grateful for the university and all that you're doing. Uh, this is not about Embu now. It's for Kenya. It's for the world. Because you have better the movement right here that is going to inspire other uh, students and just take it from here on. So uh, thank you very much. Um, I'm not going to try to take your time, but um, come repair. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. King. Um, comrades,
I am a teacher, remember? You put, when I say you put your hands together, you put them like this. Alright? When I finish my statement, uh, it runs in the opposite. <laughs> when I finish my statement, you put them. Uh, for Rizma, but the co founder of one million. where you guys can be more motivated and do better in teaching. You are the leaders, like Hakeem said, as well. And I would thank the management of EMBU. I would like to thank my superstar, my team, Harriet and everybody here, for pulling it off. And most importantly, I'll thank you guys for sh coming here and bringing in the positive energy. That made my day. I have to share something. This is my first ever Black Lives graduation I'm attending, and it will always have a special place in my heart. So, thank you for bringing in the positive energy, like I said earlier as well. I would like to share one thing, and I would like to talk about the word called networking or connectivity. Now you are black belts. You need to network with other black belts, not just within your own community, but outside of your community as well. And hence, I'll invite you guys to join our Facebook group where we have people from different communities around the globe. So you can network and learn from them. So they can inspire you and you can inspire them as well. And I would say, help the people who have started this journey and help them to move forward. Be an inspiration. And you inspire us every single day. Like, uh, it was said by one of the students earlier, why are you 302 today within two months? It's because you got the support. So imagine if you can support others around you. Just look on your right, look on your left, and imagine if you support them, how far they can go with you on this journey. And we can bridge the gap of teacher crisis around the globe in no time, literally. We can be there. We can't reach the number one million by this year, 2024. I'm sure of it. So I would thank you all for giving us the opportunity to be here today. And I'll talk about HP Math. I know, the mentorship program. I would like to announce our HP Math 5 cohort would be starting for May. So keep an eye on your WhatsApp and Harriet will be announcing when the applications are going to start. So thank you again and congratulations everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Miss Lesma. Did you understand? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm at home. <laughs> now, the icing on the cake. I know you are waiting to see what Queen's University has for you. I will start uh, advocating for myself. Whoever is coming from Queen's University, if you have anything for us, it is now or never. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, Prophet, there is, there, is a, there is a community in my country. You don't call them by their first name. If you don't call them Professor, they will sue you. <laughs> they will sue you. you. What did you call me? Hello? <laughs> yeah. You school dropout. You call me. Do you know how much I used to get in this title? <laughs> you later get to know. Uh, please give it up for Professor. Even my, my, my status does not allow me to pronounce it well. Dr. J. Shin from Queen's <laughs> University. Thank you very much. She has brought one million teachers here. What are you giving her to take to Canada? Don't say yourselves. 
<laughs> I don't think I can follow Sesa, but thank you very much for the lovely introduction. And um, Dr. Madrine, I'm going to get to you in a minute, but uh, thank you very much for graciously hosting us today. Um, and welcome everybody, and let's start with congratulations. Really, um, this day is about you, uh, and of course there's nothing like speaking last, right? Because everybody said everything already. So I'm going to try uh, to sort of take what I was going to say and, and, and wrap up kind of what's been uh, mentioned to you here. Um, so I have my phone. And I'll just let you know, I'm putting it down here um, because um, right now our, my teacher candidates are um, with me. They're traveling here with me from Queen's University. I have 13 of them. And uh, the first message I got today, well, so I have, I have the light, the accessibility feature on my phone so that I can see it in my purse. My kids made me put that on because I never answered my phone. So, the first text message I got from my students this morning was a lovely message asking, I've just put in an application to be a teacher. Would you please write a letter of reference for me? I was like, yes, I will. This is lovely. The next message, oh my gosh, guys, I just sat on my bed and it broke. <laughs> and the messages have gone downhill from there. So there's lights flashing, so the phone will be down there. Um, but one of the things I, I, I want to start with is just, a lot of people have mentioned that teaching is more than a profession. And I just want you to, you know, th these are the sort of lines we hear all the time. But if you just do a quick exercise and think back, I always tell my teacher candidates, you love school so much you never want to leave. Right? You're going to be teachers. So what left you with that feeling? Was it your passion for mapping coordinates and geography? Or was it more likely a teacher you had somewhere in your journey through school who made you feel really smart about something? Or who made you feel better when things weren't going well elsewhere? It was probably a teacher that had some role to play and why you're here being a teacher as well. And when I ask my teacher candidates to start at the beginning of their term and reflect on that, they have great examples of wonderful educators who touch their lives. And that's what we mean. People are going to go off after they leave your class, and you are a part of their story forever. Um, and that's a powerful thing. It's a very powerful thing. Um, so I'm from Queen's University, so I thought I would just start by uh, telling you, what, you know, first of all, where is that? What is it? So we're about two and a half hours up the highway from Toronto in Ontario, Canada. And when we left, it was minus 15 degrees at time. So um, I'm loving the, the, the beautiful weather here. And, and it's, it's not just the temperature that's warm, it's certainly the people. Um, I've just, we've just had such a wonderful warm welcome from everybody that we've met here so far. And uh, it, it, it's really made our experience so positive and um, all of you are just, there, there's a great energy in this room. I can feel it. Um, so thank you for that. So I started off as a middle school teacher. One day they're telling you where to go because they're really cool and tough, and the next day they're crying because they lost their pencil case. Same kid, right? So it's lots of fun if you want to teach unpredictability, teach that you know sort of 12, 13 year old age. Um, but I also taught high school as well, and then I went back and did my master's. Oh, and I taught in uh, in Ontario, Canada. I taught in Spain, Mexico, and Colombia and then went back to do my master's on the impact of culture on teaching and learning. So in Canada, there's one teacher from Ontario standing in the front of the room, um, but there's all kids representing all kinds of cultural values and understandings in the classroom. And so what happens to assessment and learning when you're, when you're teaching and learning cross-culturally? 
Okay. And then my PhD was in new literacies related to technology. So I kind of jumped, jumped around in topics. All this to tell you, um, I also at one point uh, took a year off of university and backpacked for 11 months to find myself, in quotes, and um, traveled most of my adult life. So imagine the day Hakeem Subair pitches his passion and his great idea to Queen's University. They turn around and went, I know someone who has a passion and an idea. Let's put the two of them together. And so when Ritzma was talking about networking, that's how it works, right? You put out into the universe um, things you're passionate about, you begin doing things you're passionate about, and you find the people who are also passionate about that. And so um, it's been my dream, it's been my pleasure to work with Hakeem and Ritzma uh, on the early, in the early days creating content and just supporting them however, however we could. Uh, it's also my great pleasure to see uh, all of the black belts graduating today because our goal as a university is to put ourselves out of the job. There's enough experts in the room, you can start creating the content. You don't need Queen's University to do that. And one of the ways we started to do that is actually we're collaborating. So I teach a class on teaching internationally, and my students collaborate with black belts um, to revise, edit, update, or create new content for the, for the modules. So they, their responsibility is to connect with the black belt, they Zoom call together, and they create content together. Um, so we're hoping eventually that that gets passed on to some of you. Some of you, some of you may have a passion for creating content or curriculum. Some of you black belts may be the people generating and creating the content that comes. So just very quickly, um, I had uh, three pieces of advice. One is, as people have mentioned, you're part of a learning community. Um, that requires decisions. All we need to do is think about COVID-19 or, or um, the climate change to, to realize how connected the world is. Um, you are part of a global community of teachers. Um, but you, teachers always have a choice. You can sit in the staff room and complain about kids. That, there's a global community of people doing that right now, I assure you. Sitting around complaining, wishing we had more time, wishing kids were better behaved. I remember when I was a kid, all the stuff. You can choose to spend your time with them, or you can choose instead to find your people. Find your people wherever they are, if they're in your school, if they're in your community, if you're in your global community. Find them. Share your passions. You are a global community of teachers. Um, the second thing I would say is, uh, I love, there's a quote I love, and this is, I'm gonna come back to uh, Dr. Madrine here. Um, and the quote is, who you are, speak so loudly, I cannot hear what you say. And kids are smart in classrooms. And they know when you're actually sincere, and they care about you. And you have a living example of that. I could tell by the first applause that you gave to her. Right? That's somebody who who she is speaks so loudly, you, you can't even hear what she's saying. You don't need to. You already feel um, something special. I'm not going to speak on behalf of you and what you're feeling, but I know it's something special. I could sense that in this room. And so I'd ask you for a minute to just reflect on what what is that? How does she create that? How can you go out and create that for your kids? Students don't mind getting bad feedback. They don't mind failing if they know that they feel safe with you and they feel that. They want to come anyway. They want to try again. They want to do better. And so think about what it is that your own living example of that, right? How does she do that? Ask her when your 
chatting, what is it? And I know part of it, you know, in my brief conversations is just a, a passion for teaching and learning. And that's where, you know, who you are scre screams so loudly, I cannot hear what you say, I would argue, right, is at the heart of you going, finding your people. What is it you love to do in teaching? You all have the same credentials now. You're all qualified, you're very qualified, you're black belts. But that doesn't mean you have to be the same black belts. Some of you are going to be a Jane Chin and go into the university, and some of you are going to be a Hakeem Zubair and become an innovator, and somehow your planets are going to, you know, your, your orbits are going to collide. Because when you do what you're passionate about, as Dr. Matrain does, it shows, and it's, and it's infectious, and it attracts the people who have those same passions. So I would encourage you today, uh, on, maybe not today, today, celebrate. Tomorrow, sit down and think about, okay, what are my passions? What are the unique contributions I'm gonna make to this global community of teaching? Um, and so, finally, I guess I'll just, uh, I, I wrote down some really thoughtful words that I'll get wrong if I don't. Uh, Oh, um, yeah, I'll just start. we'll just do that. Um, you are the experts. You have the most knowledge of what it is like to teach and learn in schools in Kenya. You have the credentials through One Million Teachers. Hakeem and Ritzma and the entire One Million Teacher organization has given you the responsibility to engage in educational change, and they put their trust in you. You've got this. Celebrate the amazing, the amazing educators you are today and plan for your specific purpose moving forward. There's a quote that says, if you do what you do best and be happy, you are further along than most people. As we celebrate your hard work today and dedication to the profession, my wish for you is that this is just the beginning of many successes for you. I hope, I hope I'll see a few of you on Zoom in my class. For example, take time to reflect and then begin again. Dream new dreams, embark on who you are meant to become, never settle for halfway, and embrace life with passion and determination. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. How many passports? Sure, you have a passport, traveling passport. <laughs> Seriously? How many have you? One, two. Dr. Madri. Dr. Madri, please contact the immigration department. Tell them to come here and give these people passports. They are not ready to go and venture the world except two people. I also have one. <laughs> so if you need somebody in Canada, Queen's University, I am here. They are under 18 also. They are under 18? Who are they under 18? <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Madden, eh? I heard her saying in Canada it's very cold. She teaches in uh, Queen's University and she's in Emu University. Is there a piece of land anywhere around here? Please find the house, <laughs> 10 acres, they like uh, a big opportunities. You are welcome. For her. For Dr. Her. Jen, Professor Jen, there is an opportunity for you in the university. So after this, don't go back. <laughs> Thank you so much. And you look for passports, go. <laughs> so that she here. Now I want to invite my brother, one who looks like me. Please come. Can you clap for him? You see the way he's smiling like you. Tell us. Thank you very much. And um, I will just uh, say a few words. Congratulations once again to everyone. It's really amazing um, what you teach us. And you remember the very bad teachers. 
You remember the teachers that have left a positive impact in our lives. And you also remember those teachers that told you you never do well, that tells you how you will not succeed, and that tells you how much of a terrible student you are. Am I correct? Has anybody encountered any of those teachers before? Yes. Can you show by raise of hands? Let me know that I'm not the only one. Right, so the point I'm trying to make is you have to decide which type of teacher you want to be. You know, again, there's a category people never remember. They never remember the average teachers, the teachers that were just okay. So today, I would like to just let us be in the category of the exceptional teachers because that way you would have made a positive impact in the lives of the people that have passed through you. And um, once again, congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much uh, for those kind of words. About one million teachers, where do you go to? Hello? I introduced the man, isn't it? Who did I say he is? Dr. Mabri, is this how they treat you in class? I, I think they are sugar saddle. Oh, okay, let me stop that. He is the advisor of one million teachers. If you need advice, see him. Behind the tent. Not at all. Now, the time we were waiting for is here. I know some of us asked for money to come for graduation. <laughs> Number two, they invited guests to come and ensure that they see you doing what? Graduating. If you ask for a graduation fee, please, you see me and the party out. <laughs> because you're using it. All right. Uh, please come. It is time. Uh, um, also, they are imagining they are the only ones who have their sugar slow. And I've been speaking and they are looking at me. <laughs> All the energy I've used, you must compensate. Uh, as uh, they prepare, let's just stand for just one minute. <laughs> if you don't obey me, this is how the students will treat you in the class. I'm not cursing you, but I am preparing you in advance. I'm happy today, so happy. In Jesus' name, I'm happy. He has taken away my sins. I am happy, so happy today. I saw the time to be happy is now, and the place to be happy is here, and the way to be happy is to make someone happy and to make a little You people don't know how are you making someone happy, and you are not holding their hand. Tell them. And the way to make someone happy is to, uh, and the way to be happy is to make someone happy. You hold their hand and have a little heaven where down there. And the time, so and the place, and the time to be happy is now. And the place to be happy is where you hold someone's hand. And the way to be happy is to make someone happy and to have a little heaven down there. You may take it. Now, I want you to look at the person next to you. Look at me in the, in the face. I am not next to you. So. <laughs> Somebody is looking at me. <laughs> Alright. Are you looking at that person next to you? What do you see on their face? Whatever you see, you are the one responsible for it. Whatever you see in your past, your next, I mean the person next to face, you are the one responsible for it. If they are sad, you are. If they are happy, you are. 
The difference between you and those who are not here today is action. Action without, I mean, faith without action is I'm not a pastor. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. We are going to call you in a given moment. As you hear his name, I don't know whether you are going to pass from there or you pass from here. You, know, you take a photograph, you go that way, don't go back. Come on. Come on, the lunch. DJ, 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 I go by number. You guys are up and This is where celebration is. So you come up with a number of celebration. I'm a congregation. I'm out with this. Who has a song for celebration? Now, you know, there is one person you must obey, whether you like it or not. And the women are not known to obey men. But I put a mutu a camera and Mandia Mamma, he must. Mandia Fanya, he must. Now, I have been told by the camera, you will have a picture, you will have a certificate, you will have a picture. Make sure it's mine. And then, you go there. You go back this way. I'll take back the certificate. I call you a parent and tell you you did not graduate. Are we together? All right. Somebody has rang the bell. And it is time for us to stop. Where is the youngest graduate? Do you have a certificate for the youngest graduate? <laughs> <laughs> there is the littlest. There are two. Where is the other one? I saw another one behind there. Are you ready? We want to begin. Now, this is the exercise because the anxiety is so high. The certificates are so beautiful and the moment is so fantabulous. Remember the prayer in Omabe? Eh? Remember the prayer in Omabe? This is where this guy comes from. Now, um, breathe in. Just hold it there. <laughs> you people follow instructions. Breathe in through the nose. Hold it there. Now release through the mouth slowly. People are speaking. <laughs> now the last time. Breathe in. Out. Close your eyes. Look at the certificate with your eyes closed. Alright? People are looking at me. Breathe in. Don't look at me. Close your eyes. Out. How you imagine if you close your eyes, the certificates will disappear. Now, uh, we want to begin by calling out the names. You are still here. You are still here. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Thank you so much for being patient for all that time. My name is Tim. And uh, I work with one million teachers. And uh, we are proud to have our leaders here. We are so grateful to have them here. For now, we want to give out our certificates. This is the moment, that time to hold that certificate. You remember the sleepless nights you had? In fact, there was one that is called Seven Habits. I don't know whether you have done it. That one is stubborn. You do it around four consecutive days and you are at 10%. Not moving. 
So thank you so much. I would like to take this opportunity to invite our doctor here, Dr. Madrai, who is also graduating. We want to take this opportunity to give a round of applause as we come. How do you feel when you graduate with your teacher? It never happened on me, but now you guys, I think you feel it. Graduating with your mentor, graduating with your teacher, graduating with your mom. Gra all the best things that you can, all the best adjectives you can use, I know you are feeling. I would like also to take this opportunity to welcome our CEO, Hakim, and Madam Harriet, the National Coordinator, to come here and give or issue this certificate. This one only. That is the only one I'm presenting back to you. Thank you very much. This is called leading by example. Isn't it? Oh. Leading by example. Now you are going to clap until she gets the certificate and it's one. Like this. Please come. As soon as I call you. 
Full your name, you should be here. Then followed by Nandumo, Newton. Ooh. Muticia Emily Assembly. Detail, make sure to keep 
Kuna ile wimbo ya bora tu enjoy. Hiyo ni homework. Sasa kufanya sasa hivi. Tusikwa sana baadaye. Keep going, Jairus. Mora Ivon Mwanjira. Ivon Mwanjira, you go before Keep going. Keep going. Okay. And make sure you smile for the photograph. If you don't know how to smile, come to me, I show you. Kanyeki, Kanyeki. Mazira James Kamau. Oh, 
Ni kama DJ ameshikwa na njaa. Tafuta ta songi ya Ibara baba wewe.
We saw Sharon. Linda. We saw Sharon. Proto Uno. Eric Mwenda. Kuna mtu amejoka na certificate ya tatu. Vincent Kipkurui. Vincent Kipkurui. Lydia Nyaoga. Lydia Nyaoga. Lydia. Washira Samuel Dilitu. Shira Samuel Elkana Kirui Elkana David Otieno Juma David Otieno Juma Shout out to Vivian. Shout out to Vivian. 
Elsie, are you okay? Root of Edith. Frederick Mulay. I be Chimutai. Thomas Mataigo. Maureen Nyahe. Anna Kipiagong. Charles Dilango. Charles Dilango, baby. Yo, my man. Baby, baby. Lena Chelanga. One minute. Lena Chelanga. Baby. Nyamwani. All right. Very, 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 Harriet Sajero, you have a namesake. Make sure she hugs you. Harriet Rambo, where are you? Make sure you have Harriet Sajero. Okay. Namesake. Now, go back to you to get on. Agnes Gadoni. Agnes Gadoni, Mude Sara. Mude Sara. Ian Mwiregi. Ian Murigi. Ian Murigi. Ian Murigi. Ian 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 Timothy, Timothy, from the book of Timothy, for taking Susan Kagami. Are you ready to make a difference? Udani. Somewhere, 
Mr. Mukai. Okay. Thank you. Rakhe Jal. Rakhe Jal. Jai to the world. Where is it? Where is it? Ready? Okay. Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Christian Mushum. Mudani, Mudani Darin, Kenny. Mudani Darin, Kenny. Ready? Okay. Wambua Paul, can you? Pani, Wambua Pauline, can you? Wambua Pauline, can you? Okay. Doreen Rashid Kinyanjui Paul Kinoro Kinyanjui Paul No Kinyanjui Guess who? Thank you. 
because mercy shall so teach. Esta Jerry. Esta Jerry. Pole in Cuba.
Chamba Nixon, me. Chamba Nixon. Chamba Nixon, me. Mignea. Mignea, my boy. Elva Sossi. Yunis, Sabencia. Who are you? Are you ready? Sabencia. Ready? Faith in Gaza. Faith in Gaza. Faith in Gaza. Wicklif, Mashari, Wangi. Wicklif. Wiki. Okay. Christine. Christine Kina. Judith. 
Jen Maina. Any key plugins? Any key plugins? Yeah. 
Ezra Rotich. Ezra Rotich. Kinani Nyabuai. Kinani Nyabuai. Nyabuai. Terry Chiruto Karanta Rewe Esta Asama Karanta Esta Yetonga Brenda Gaki Levina Hana Gogi Kunamba the scarce in the light to a great taste. Nana the scarce in the light on a sunset or by Nana the scarce in the light. Hello, Nana the scarce in the light. You come out to me, Malaysia. All right. Who has not had the animal? You are very few. Tony and Mary. Mary Muloki. Musa Shiba and I had attack. And there are those who did not sign, and uh, some are here. How many of you arrived late? Wakakuja Wakapata to Nashulukia Mukia Wamombe. It's an invitation to a great taste. Okay. Excessive alcohol consumption is something. Mary Muloki. Kiduka, Josephine and Doko. She was a great one. 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 Josephine. She was a great one. 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 She was
Collins qui croque. Collins qui croque. Jenny, Kenya. 
kasir wo mutina mashoka mutina mashoka Thank you very much, thank you very much, and let's give ourselves our hearty clap. A better clap for yourself. I think for sure, apart from my digital ID, the second best item I have is one million certificate. That certificate is just nice. It's smart, it is of quality. Give, give us a clap. As you also give yourself a clap for having got it. Thank you so much. Thank you for persevering all these times and uh, finally you've got it. Now just some two maybe announcements to put across and then um, we'll give you the next. Number one about our brothers and sisters who are not around with us here and we have their certificates. Shida hiko kwa baasha ya white. If we give you the certificate, do we also give you the white envelope? Yes. Hi. Yawa. Hey. Hakuna muta taita DCI hapa na ESCC. So I think the best thing we can do, we are going to use a neutral ground. Madam Madrid will remain with those sats of those of us who are not round. They did the work, they finished the race, they must be crowned by the head. So for now, let's leave them at one central point. Atutaki Kesi. Ilikua, Ishakua, Imekua. Those are so many questions we do not want to answer. Then number two, if you discover that there is any spelling mistake or any error in your name, kindly register with us here so that we can make the corrections that are necessary. Oh, <laughs> kindly check your name. How do you keep a certificate that is not yours? Confirm that it is yours, right name.
If there is any form of error, kindly let us know. Kindly let us know. And uh, last but not least, there are other friends or colleagues or our classmates who are still going on with the program. And now that we are certified black belts, because we have certificates, we are now certified black belts. Are you still going to be the ambassadors of this is the end of the road? You are assuring us you are the ambassadors of Ebo. We are willing. We are ready. And we will come again to Ebo before the end of this year for another graduation. That one is according to me. See coordinator. That is not the official communication from the coordinator. But from what we have seen, uh, initially when you started uh, completing the belts, I used to comment a little bit. I lost count somewhere. Because Unaona, Ebu 65, Ebu 66, Ebu 90, Ebu 200. So you don't know whether you are going to write all the 15 names that will appear. But we want to say again, thank you guys. Thank you so much. The most important thing is not the Kenyan question. How do I benefit? You have already benefited. It is powerful to have the skill and the knowledge. That certificate that you have, plus the knowledge you have, is going to take you places. We never got this opportunity when we were at where you are. But now, I am very confident that the children in Kenya and beyond are going to get the best teachers graduating. I heard somebody say that you are going to have a graduation in September. September. I will be coming. We will come to celebrate with you as one million teachers. Thank you so much. And we appreciate, we are happy. Now what we can do is only to dance a little bit here and there. Situlisema, ile wimbo imesahau. Bora to enjoy. Sasa, where is the DJ? These are the times as we give back to our MC. Thank you so much. God bless you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Steve. Steven Udur. Yeah, I asked you the meaning of the word in Yendo, you did say. Now, um, Mr. Akim, please stand. Rizma, please stand. I'll skip Professor Jen. Please stand, my, my good friend, my brother, the one who shared the shining head. <laughs> right. In our culture, whenever you go to a new place, you get a new name. Right? Look at this guy here. Which name do you give him from this location? Kamau. K-A-M-A-U. What is the meaning of Kamau? Don't give somebody a name without a meaning. So if Dr. Madrid give them assignment, they go and search for the meaning of Kamau. Stella, uh, when Adiston Liu is coming, mm -hmm. as a good catcher, Stella and already come up with names, including also Harriet oh. and everybody who was, uh, who okay. they have interacted. Okay. So Stella, please, has, the please, Stella, Stella has the names. So, Stella, please, please, yeah. please, please, please. Give them the names. Plus the meaning. If you don't, you might disappear. Then we start with the Moende. Uh, I will start here. Okay, here. Yes. Yes. Um, Joroge. And I got two Joroge. 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 Mm. I love myself. That means bananas. <laughs> no, Maregu is the food that people carry when they are on a journey. So they are mindful people. 
and I have seen that you're very mindful in your words. Yes. Yeah. Then um, to the to the core to the core founder, Mwende. Mwende Lili Unapendwa. Your love. Then Harriet Morugi. Morugi meaning mean the cook. I mean to be here, certificate the neighbor. So we will be stuck at the view and just yes, I'm very sure that Bahashas have something. You see the, the mind of a cook, eh? Minding the the children. So much. And then the founder. Mumandi. Mumandi. Meaning the searcher. You've gone out there to search for the one million teachers. And you have found them. And you have found them. So we really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for coming. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you clap for them? Please take a seat. Uh, I saw under the name, I mean with the names, Rizma Bart has his written Miss. M I double S. Prisma, the title at the beginning is M I double S. Meaning? 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 Um, at this point, my job is coming to an end. I am officially fired. I'm officially fired. Because when everything is over, Musema Chachota, Akinir Japani, Takusema. That is the meaning of the word MC, the initials. Musema Chachota. I'm the only person who is allowed to say anything and nobody will question. And I'm the one allowed to repeat what others have. Aspire to inspire before you expire. Aspire to inspire before you expire. Teachers don't grow old. Look at them. The more you read, the more you study, the younger you grow. That is why so many people want to marry or get married to a teacher. Hello? You're not proud of being a teacher? I wish you got this opportunity before you went to teaching practice. But now you have it before you start teaching. Go out there, spread the gospel. Make all of them disciples. Hallelujah! And that is the end of the sermon. Uh, Harriet is going to give us an announcement. Na mimi amu kulipatia jina, but it's okay. Kamwaria. Jina yenye ambayo yanaenda na kierere. Kamwaria. Kamwaria? Ha? Ipa ni the pronunciation of the name is not a good one. Amunifendi. Yeah, the, um, with the group, there's so much that is happening behind the curtains, and there are few that I would like to appreciate in a small way. If we say we appreciate them all, Embu, the way we maybe we should, Atutaweza, because it's overwhelming, the love you've given us, the support, and everything. So from my list, I have few people that um, I want to appreciate for their support they've given me. They've given me good time, they've given me support, and they've shown their leadership in everything that they've been doing. First of all, I'll, 
I'll recognize Madam, the pretty lady, Madam Madrin. <laughs> Madre, you can come forward. Red belt, 
gray belt, orange belt. <laughs> orange. <laughs> yes, yeah, sometimes the messages were overwhelming in my inbox, and I will just assign one person kindly help this so and so. She is stuck, or he is stuck. Fadili Omete. Without you, I would not have stood here. Thank you. Comrades, thank you. The fire you have, may it continue burning, but let it not burn the buildings. <laughs> let it not burn the tires on the roads. Let it not blow the stones. Because the same things will come back to you when you are in school as a teacher. Um, those who have not checked their names and um, all they have checked, 
there is an error in the spelling. Please come and record your name here the way it is supposed to be. Even the order it is supposed to be. Uh, sometimes, maybe you wrote two names, right? And you have three. And the other documents have three names and this one is going to have just two. Ensure they appear as they are in your original, I mean, uh, edu academic documents. Otherwise, you tell me you know Kenya, don't you? In Kenya. Lastly, will you allow me to call someone to say a of thanks? Where are you? The one who is supposed to say thank you. I'm at the same. So, uh, if you have any function and you need somebody to make noise, I am here. I am my man. After he has said thank you, uh, someone is coming to pray for us, called Stella. Thank you so much. Uh, good afternoon. Our uh, uh, chief guest this day, CEO of One Million Teachers, representative of the VC Bazubimbu and our very own lecturer, Dr. Madrin, guests in your different capacities, ladies and gentlemen, comrades. Uh, this afternoon, I just want to be so brief, and I'm here to thank, to thank you all for making it to this juncture, and to thank you all for being so cooperative this day that uh, we've made this day a success. So, as we bring this memorable graduation ceremony to a close, I stand before you with a profound sense of gratitude and appreciation for the collective effort and support that has made this event possible. First and foremost, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Madrin and uh, for the coordination and for the inspiring words and unwavering commitment uh, to excellence that uh, she has given us and even supported us in doing in a, towards uh, gaining these new heights of academic achievement and also innovation. It's not easy. And also would like to express our sincere uh, appreciation to the one million teachers uh, for their tireless dedication, mentorship, guidance uh, throughout this uh, academic journey because actually doing such a professional course is not easy and uh, it's not cheap because what I know is that uh, there's no cheap course that is offered or any free course that is offered. If you, you don't believe me, if you go for, to a Cisco website and you want to do a course, any professional course, they will tell you the list starts with uh, seven, $750 per course. So it's not cheap, but it was offered to us for free. And therefore, as we go out there, give it out for free. So, so. so that one is something that we're so grateful actually, because you, 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 you had the thought, the thought of making it, monetize it so that you can do other adventures, but you thought it, it is better at least one million teachers can benefit from it for for the sake of posterity. And uh, also, I want to thank you also for the partnership that you have had with the University of Embu, because I, I know this is the beginning of a good collaboration with the University of Embu, and uh, we're opening so many doors, because from here, I know some of the students here after graduation, that is September, and others who are coming, the next years there will be teaching in U.S. schools, Canada schools, and different parts of the world. And I know they're prepared because all those courses are geared towards the same. So thank you so much for this opportunity. And also I want to thank you. I want to thank uh, my colleagues whom we've worked together. And uh, many of you are asking me, like, uh, you, we've never seen you somewhere. You're not a student. But it's true, I'm an alumni of the University of Embu, and I graduated uh, in 2019. 
and um, I graduated as a teacher. I'm a teacher of English and literature. But so far I can tell you one thing, and all that I have learned from this course. The one million teacher course is not only for teachers. Because uh, I graduated as a teacher, but I am a consultant in uh, corporate social investment initiatives, diversity, equity, and uh, inclusion. And you know very well, when you look at those, uh, those belts, they cut across so many issues that we're dealing with every day, especially gender mainstreaming, uh, racism, uh, diversity and inclusion, which are essential issues that are, are touching every workplace in the world. And therefore, it is not a cause for only teachers. It is a cause even for all those enthusiasts that are feeling like they need to sharpen their skills in the global marketplace. So thank you so much for giving us a program that cuts across all careers. Because even a doctor, it's a, it applies because they meet different patients, patients with autism, and still they have to apply this knowledge, which is very, very important. And uh, uh, last but uh, certainly not least, uh, to our esteemed graduates, uh, congratulations once again on this remarkable achievement. Your hard work, dedication, and perseverance have finally paid off, and today we celebrate you. Be proud of yourself. As you go there, you go to your interviews, be proud of yourself. And remember, don't be, don't appear weak. You are strong. You have a strong uh, document that will complement your license and your certification. So as you embark on this new chapter of your journey as a teacher, you should remember that you should uphold the values of integrity, excellence, and lifelong learning. Don't stop to learn. Don't stop to learn. So thank you so much. I know we've passed through, it was, it was tough, but at long last, we have shunned. So the, the Latin users say, Paspera edetra, through, through the dust to the stars. So we are there now. So be proud of yourself and also encourage the others that are still working on finishing their bells and tell them actually there are good things ahead of them. And I can testify this. Actually, all the papers that I've acquired since when I was in this campus, different programs, this, different initiatives like these ones, they have taken me in a, on a different level and a different place altogether. I've met new people, I've networked with so many people, I have built my career. Until nowadays, I can stand here and tell you it's not a must for you to be employed. Whatever you have is much greater to impact the world because a teacher, the teaching is a noble profession and therefore you've been given what is very important to go and teach out there. And when I am in lecture halls like this, when I lecture literature, I usually tell the students, this degree is just a bridge. Therefore, use it as in, use it very well. And using it very well is, as you use it, as you go out there, make sure you build yourself and make sure you amass more knowledge. Use initiatives like this, and then embrace them. Don't listen to the barking dogs, because barking dogs will always be there. They need an incentive, incentive after everything. But that's not what you're made for. Go out there, shine like a diamond. Thank you so much, and may God bless you, and welcome to the University of Denver. God bless you. So, you are uh, Nathaniel. Okay. I've taken notes. Did you hear him talk? Did you hear him talk? Next time he is in need of your vote somewhere, vote for him. He has spoken so well. He has encouraged everyone. He has thanked our leaders. We really appreciate Nathaniel for your work. Thank you for your dedication as well. Now, I just wanted to put something with your permission, uh, Mr. MC, and the guest. Uh, we say the sweetness of that certificate lies in the picture. 
Sisi kama wamama tunapenda picha. We like taking photos. We have been preparing for the last one month waiting for the photos. Wamama wenzangu. Where are you? Those who are waiting for photos like me. We are moving to the photo session now. Aye. So you don't want to take photos? This is the, in fact, the climax of everything lies here. So we just wanted to give you some guidelines on this. We have our guests here. We might not give everyone opportunity to take a photo with them. We are a, a bigger number. So we are going to have a, around three steps. We are going to have men. They say ladies first. Uh, let's try men today, men first. So we are going to have our leaders will be sitting somewhere here. We are going to put their chairs here. Then men are coming. We will have one uh, photo. Then the ladies will come as well. Another one photo. And then we are not going to have one overall because we might not fit here. We might not fit all of us. So we are looking at a better place where we can have that photo and then we will share it. Thereafter, it is now personal. You will have the opportunity to take as much as you want. There was, uh, there was I think, somebody, I look for you to take a photo now. I woke up one morning and I found 600 messages on the WhatsApp here, Black Bears. So I knew uh, Ebu is somewhere. That day in the morning, <laughs> uh, I knew comrades here, here. Comrades, dear Lala, dear. And it was dear Lala that morning. <laughs> so thank you so much, MC. Thank you. Thank you very much. And the requirement for the photograph is your certificate. Hello? You must have your certificate, your discipline. And think uh, we will be from this side, facing this way. Okay, they will face this side. They will face that way. Yeah, because they will start on this, mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. then down, we will do some seats. Stem, I don't know why you are not here. No. I am going to fire you. I wish you could see what I have seen. The greatest, biggest. Please say one empty. You are not powerful enough. Remember, this is going through the world. One empty. One empty. I'm sure you. One million teachers. One million teachers. One million teachers. One million teachers. One million black belts. One million black belts. Oh, yeah.
Wapi wale wachama wa Mungu watendelee jinsi tulivyo. Sana Please try. Try, try, try. try smiling. Show me your 
in the field of mathematics and geography more to that uh, I am one of the graduates from one million teachers the first cohort from the University of Embu my experience from the belt that I have been undertaken through is one uh, the classroom whereby 
we will be working most of the time. There is a lot that has to be done and mostly the, our studies are in the classroom environment, it has to be learner-centered. The experience that I have enjoyed most is knowing that I'm not only uh, a coach, but I am a mentor in the classroom environment. To my uh, fellow graduates who have graduated today, I wish you all the best and congratulations for the good job that you have done. A graduate student at the University of Embu, Today I'm happy because I've graduated from the One Million program, uh, which we took for a period of one and a half uh, months. It's been a good program. Actually, we have been uh, enacted with many skills from the bells, actually from the girl rising, which addresses the gender, which addresses the sex, which addresses how the community should perceive our girl child. You'll realize that uh, the community has diminished the girl child in such an essence that they are not supposed to to get such services. But One Million Teacher is a very good uh, program. I encourage many students, others actually who are uh, behind me, and also those teachers who are teaching in various fields to come and enroll on One Million Teachers. The skills I've learned, I'm sure uh, I'll apply them in outside country so that uh, to ensure that we get those uh, students to help them, to nurture them, and also to, to, to be like us. I appreciation to the founders of One Million Teachers for bringing such an amazing program and we thank them all and uh, we welcome them again to University of Embu. Thank you. Good afternoon everyone. I'm Maureen Gadoni Chomba, a graduate of One Million Teachers University of Embu. This program is a nice program because it, it has helped us to gain skills on how to manage our classrooms and how to handle individual students and also on how to motivate various students. As I'm going for my teaching practice, I'll use these skills and try to implement them in the school that I will be. That's all for now, thank you. And as for me, this has helped me in my future teaching. I have acquired several skills which I will apply in my teaching in future and I and I advise all of us to take this course seriously because it impacts knowledge and skills as a teacher and it packages us well to be good teachers in future. Okay, thank you.